Hello everybody and welcome to this short tutorial on installing TYPO3 version 11. I would recommend to install TYPO3 locally with Docker and DDEV to make it a bit easier because the first thing you need is a web server and PHP and you could also install all these components locally but with Docker and DDEV you have a convenient environment that doesn't need much work. So here's how to do that. First off, you need Docker. To install Docker, go to the Docker website and download the one for your environment. In my case, that would be Mac with the Apple chip. In your case, this could be Windows or Linux. After you install Docker, you can then install DDEV according to their documentation. So you go to ddev.com and from there, you click on the documentation and you go here to intro to DDEV local. If you look at the left side, you have the DDEV documentation, which is pretty complete and helps with troubleshooting a lot of issues. So make sure to look that up if anything goes wrong. They also explain how to install Docker for DDEV again. So if you had problems with the Docker installation, you can also take a look here if there's anything that can help you. After installing DDEV on your local system, you are now ready to install TYPO3. To install TYPO3, I would recommend using the official documentation. So we go to docs.typo3.org, to the getting started tutorial, and from there to installing TYPO3. If you scroll down a little bit, you can see different variants of how to install TYPO3. And in our case, we want to use the DDEV variant here. You can now just copy that and adjust the example project directory name, or you can type everything yourself. So what we're going to do, clean up here, is we are going to create a directory for your TYPO3 project. Let's call it T3Demo. Then we go into that project directory. And now we can have DDEV create a project for us. So we do DDEV config, which will create a configuration. We say we want to have a project from type TYPO3. We want to have DDEV create the doc root for us and we want the document root to be set to public. I hope I typed everything right. Let's see. That looks good. So the doc root is where the public files from your website are served. So that's what you can actually access via your browser. In our case, that's a directory called public for the public files. Now that we have this, we have a configured DDEV directory. We can now start our project with DDEV start. That looks good. Now the web server is running, but TYPO3 isn't installed yet. So that's the next step. If we look at the documentation again, we have a ddev composer create command here that will install a basic distribution of TYPO3 with some of the recommended extensions in version 11 in this case. So I'm going to copy this line because I'm too lazy to type it yet. Now it's asking me whether I'm okay with most of the content of my directory being deleted by create in this case, this is okay because I don't have any content there yet, just the public folder it created just a second ago. So I'm going to choose yes. Now it's downloading TYPO3 and all the packages via Composer. So what we now have is a Composer-based TYPO3 installation, just in case you read that in the documentation somewhere or somebody asks you how you installed TYPO3. This is a TYPO3 with Composer. I'm going to wait until it's done with moving files to the document root. 
that might take some time. So <laughs> don't get nervous, uh, especially the first installation on a MacBook can take quite some time. We can do an optimization there by setting mutagen in DDEV, which will greatly increase the file synchronization speed. But as I didn't do that yet, we have to wait a little bit. After this command has finished, we can find a completely installed typo 3. So we have a composer JSON, a composer log file, our vendor directory is filled with our dependencies, and we have a public directory which is set up for the use of typo 3. So as a next step, we can install typo 3. So run the typo 3 installer. I'm going to start the website. And now it's telling me, thank you for choosing typo 3. You're welcome. And it wants us to create a file called first install in the document root. The document root, as we have already learned, is our public directory. So let's do this. So we go into public again and create a file called first install. This is a security measure to make sure that the installer can only run if somebody also has access to the server. So not everybody from the internet can run the install script here, just you because you also have access to the file system. Let's see if that helped. Here we go. No problems detected. Continue. DDEV already did some database setup in the background for us, so we don't need to choose the database here. It goes to step four out of five directly and lets us set a username and a password for our new type of three installation. So I'm going to use T3 admin as my administrator username and set a secret password here. I can also set an email address here. And with that email address, I can, if enabled, reset my password later on or get email notifications whenever somebody tries to log in with my account. So this could be useful. So I'm going to set my email address here. That's my email address. And the site name is the name of my Typo3 site, my Typo3 installation in this case. So I'm going to call it Typo3 demo. Let's continue again. I don't want to save this. It's going to take some time again. Here we go. And now I could decide to directly go to the backend and do everything from scratch, or I can tell Typo3 to create an empty starting page for me so I have something that I can look at already. I'm going to do that and say, open the Typo3 backend. And I'm lazy, so I'm going to say, save this in my browser and have Safari fill it for me again. I can log in with the credentials I just created. And no, I don't want to save them here. And I am successfully logged in to the Typo3 backend and can start creating my website. So in the last step of the installer, we chose to create a little website for us. So we have a starting point. That is what created this home site here and already created a site configuration for us with the domain configuration and the English language configuration. So if I go to the front end of my website by clicking page, then selecting my home page and clicking on view, I can see this beautiful welcome to default website made with typo three. That's it. That's how you install Type 3 version 11 on your local system with DDEV and Docker. I hope you learned something and got it installed. Please leave feedback in the comments and see you next time. Bye bye.